Hi friends, hi lovers, hi friends who are lovers and lovers who are friends. Um, I just wanted to make a quick little video showing you my groceries again and uh, what I buy at the grocery store because I bought some really cool stuff. And I also want to talk to you about a health challenge that I'm currently um, healing from, which is like, what? I'm on top of health, you know, Mr. Healthy Guy. What do you mean you got a health challenge? Well, the fact is, um, on this journey towards uh, enlightenment and healing and health, uh, even sometimes people who are eating healthy can overlook things, and that's what I've done. So overall, my diet has been really, really good. But what's happened is... Um, from my youth, from my teenage years, I started having problems. I started having uh, problems digesting food. And I used to eat a lot of cheese and bread. And of course I used to eat animals too. And um, in, in high school I had terrible, terrible, terrible gas and bloating all the time. Terrible and acne. And I, I got rid of the acne by starting to use a shaver, a, a beard trimmer instead of a razor and drinking a lot of water. I was getting rashes and also it was very toxic and I started drinking a lot of water and really cleared up my face. However, um, I've still had digestive issues since then and they just haven't gone away and I just kind of accepted it and that's the way it's been and it's like if I eat too much um, I get a lot of excessive gas and excessive bloating and pain and it's just unnatural. It's not like I know a lot of people that can eat a lot and not have these issues. Almost everybody. Um, but there are people that have similar issues to me. And so what has happened is, um, and then also partially due to my uh, childhood and, and uh, upbringing, um, some stress, moving around a lot, living in a, a, a violent family, um, caused a lot of stress. And while I have dealt with it very well, cathartic means, um, writing music, meditation. Um, what happens is if you're stressed a lot, um, you can burn out your adrenals. And then also I had these digestive issues. I wasn't absorbing my, my nutrients and that caused adrenal stress. And then recently I was going crazy on the bananas and I think I threw my sodium potassium balance out of, out of whack. So what I would do in the past is I would get really dizzy and still... Um, if I, if I stood up too quick, um, and now it's like, if I sit down for any amount of time and I stand up, I'm like, whoa, really dizzy, which is not normal. And we all write off these things and we say, well, it's just the way it is. And that's what I did. And I just took some salt and, you know, a couple times a week and that used to do it. As long as I had a little bit of salt on my food um, a couple times a week, that, that cured, this is what I thought, um, cured the, uh, temporarily cured the Dizzy, dizziness. But more recently what's been happening is um, I just been, I've just been getting very tired and fatigued and this real heaviness over my eyes. And for years my ex-girlfriend would tell you uh, ability, di difficult ability uh, difficulty con here we go <laughs> uh, difficulty concentrating and staying with one task and then you know a lot of people write this off as ADD or whatever, ADHD you know. Um, but I don't buy into that. I believe that uh, I can change myself and become healthier and change my habits because most problems come from uh, thinking habits and eating habits. Um, there's very few things that we're born with. Um, even I had epilepsy when I was younger and there was a lot of stress, you know, um, when I was a kid. I mean, my dad was very violent with my mom and I witnessed a lot of that and heard a lot of that unconsciously it was there and so it affected me and so growing up with this you know in and out kind of fatherhood thing and there and he's not there and then angry and violence um, and living in you know however many people's houses staying with my aunt my other aunt staying with my grandmother living in women's place but that's a very stressful upbringing and a lot of people have worse, for sure. Um, 
However, this has affected me. I can't say just because other people have had worse that this stress is, that hasn't affected me. And it has. Um, and I dealt with it very well with meditation um, and my diet. But the thing is, it was underlying my adrenals were weak. And uh, recently, uh, I, I, I've been all over the place and that, uh, moving. And, and uh, finally, when I started, when I sat down and, and got myself settled again, that's when this started to happen. It's, it's like when you're when you're in the middle of a war, you don't really notice your health problems. But it's when you stop, and it's like whoa, something's really out of whack. And I started experiencing this crazy fatigue. And so anyhow, my friend Paz, who watches my YouTube videos, hi Paz, uh, pointed out she noticed a couple things in my face and uh, my complexion, and she said you have stage two adrenal fatigue, and I'm like, what? And uh, I didn't believe her at first, because I was like, ah, no, no. Um, I, I just didn't believe her. But then, some, a, a couple of things have, have happened, and uh, I'm going to be totally honest with you, even though this is kind of embarrassing. Um, so I had fatigue, I had heaviness over my eyes, um, just uh, a real lack of desire to do anything. And sexual mis uh, dysfunction. So I'm just going to say that. That's enough. Uh, so I had some sexual dysfunction. And these are all related to adrenal problems and malnutrition because I wasn't absorbing my food. And so what Paz has done is she's um, she's got me on. I just I basically went to a liquid diet for about four or five days or a week. I was just having miso soup, um, a green smoothie, a very liquidy green smoothie with only one or two bananas um, so I could lower my potassium. Um, and then I was having squash or carrot soups at night. And I've lost some weight, um, but I'm, I'm going to gain it back now because I've had such a hard time. And this is another thing, is, is weight loss is, is a common thing with adrenal fatigue. Um, having a terrible time putting weight on. Um, and I've had a terrible time. It's like no matter what I do, I have to try so hard to put weight on. And so I feel like once I start absorbing my nutrients better, um, which I am now. Oh, shit. That really sucks. Hopefully I can set this up quick so I don't have to read this video. Okay. Sweet. Anyhow, sorry about that. Didn't shake your head too much. Um, so... Uh, I think I'm finally going to, I'm sort of getting my digestion in order, um, and I think I'm finally going to be able to put some weight on so I don't look like a skeleton. <laughs> so, I'm just going to show you my food first, and then I'm going to talk about why I chose this food. So here's my little bag. I got some spinach for the green smoothies. I got some collard greens, because I'm going to make some wraps, and those are going to be the wraps I'm going to put uh, avocado and Oh, shoot. Oh, no. And these, <laughs> my sprouts, uh, are going to go in it. And avocado, and uh, I'm going to use some basmati rice. Speaking of basmati rice, because um, basmati rice is an Ayurvedic uh, rice that they use in India a lot. It's a lower GI glycemic index, um, and it's the most digestible rice. So I got this big ass bag of basmati rice, and it's convenient, and I'm going to be able to reuse it since it's not plastic, so how awesome is that? Well, maybe it is plastic, but at least I can reuse it. It's got a little zipper. It's awesome. And so, let's see here. Full disclosure on the Amitabha Awesome channel. I got one of these little hot peppers. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I've got hot peppers. Uh, cucumber, more hot pepper, um, dates. I got a deal here, baby. 99 cents for all these dates. And they're perfectly fine. Papaya, good digestive enzymes in there. Um, I got uh, artichoke hearts. Artichoke hearts, thank you so much. Avocados, yeah! Veggie broth, 
No dead animals, please. No dead animal soup. Um, onion powder. I got uh, spelt. I'm not sure what Paz is going to think about this, but I'm going to try it out. Um, see what she says, too. Spelt gnocchi. I got two uh, grapefruits. I got some... These are the... This is my favorite food in the entire world right now, by the way. Uh, these are medjool dates. These are incredible. These are so good. They're like candy. So good. Um, I got some turmeric. I got some garam masala. I got some mustard seeds. Mustard seeds. And I got ginger. So let's put the rice up here so you can see it. Anyhow, so here we go. I want to tell you why I got some of this stuff. The reason why I bought these foods specifically, some of them, is because I'm following an Ayurvedic diet. I have discovered Ayurveda is solving all of my problems. Um, the problem is, I'm a Vata uh, body type. Um, in Ayurveda, you're either Vata, Pitta, or Kapha, or a combination. I'm almost pure Vata, which means I have a tendency towards a wiry, wiry thin frame, dry skin, um, and poor digestion, and out of balance anxiety and lot of racing thoughts and very hyper I guess right and so out of balance those things are all exacerbated and so right now uh, it's starting to get back in balance I've made a huge comeback and I'm, and I'm on my way um, I, I've had a hard time digesting so what what one of the key things in uh, Ayurveda is Agni, it's called, and that's digestive fire. That's making sure your digestive fire is strong. And my digestive fire has been so, so weak for most of my life, half of my life now. It's been terrible. When I was a kid, I could eat so much. I could eat anything. I ate like a cow. Still didn't gain weight, but I ate so much. My digestive fire was incredible when I was a kid. But then uh, uh, the stress... In the teenage years, um, you know, family life, uh, it messed me all up, messed up my adrenals, messed up my, my digestive fire, uh, eating what I was eating messed up my digestive fire, um, because I was eating a lot of cheese, like I said, and that sticks to the inside of the intestines, and makes it so the villi can't, um, or, is it villi or cilia? One of them, I think it's villi. They can't uh, absorb the nutrients. And so, what I have to do is drink warm water instead of cold water. Um, and I just heat it up. I drink hot, warm water. And also spices. I need spicy foods. Because spices increase the digestive fire. Um, eating dandelions, bitter foods, increase the digestive fire. And I need to... Um, make sure I don't pull myself out of balance and just continually make sure I, I, I kindle the fire within so that I can mulch my food and, and absorb it. And what happens is if you have strong agni, you don't create so much, it's called ama, which is like basically like toxins, sludge, you know, undigested food products. And so my ama has been really high and I've always had a coated tongue and this is a sign of ama, too much toxicity. And even though I don't get sick anymore because I really eat an alkaline diet, um, I still have had poor digestion, poor agony, um, and too much ama. So it's it, there's a reason why, even though I don't get sick because I can alkalize and, and not get colds or flus, flus ever, um, I still am not detoxifying properly. So by eating hotter foods, I'm also putting cayenne peppers on things. I'm putting uh, turmeric as a very good food um, for increasing digestive fire. Um, and the reason why I, I had bought a uh, curry spice, and the reason why I'm not using that anymore is because it has garlic in it. And I really encourage everybody to go on YouTube and type in garlic is poison and watch some of those videos because I, I, think, I don't think anybody should be eating garlic. Um, so I got mustard seed. Uh, apparently you cook these and you let them pop and, and it's really good. I'm excited about that. Garam ma masala. 
I'm not really sure what this is all about. Hopefully there's no... Okay, good. Uh, this is just spicy stuff. It's got cardamom, black pepper, cumin, coriander, cinnamon, cloves. Groovy stuff. Um, artichokes. I got artichokes on top of the fact that they're awesome and I love them. Um, they're also good because they're a bitter food. They're, they're good for increasing acne and digestive fire. And ginger is, they call it the, um, what do they call it? Universal medicine, ginger. Um, so it's good for everything. Digestion, um, so many things. Just eat it, make tea out of it. Um, I got onion powder because that's in curry and I didn't want to um, get the pre-made curries. They all have dried garlic in it. I got dates because dates kick ass. I got these hot peppers for increasing the heat. Um, and I'm not making everything crazy hot because I can't take crazy hot, but just spicy, a little bit spicy, you know what I mean? And that increases the warmth. It's either spice or heat to increase the warmth. I got the papaya because the papaya has good digestive enzymes and I thought that would be a good thing for me to eat and I'm sort of going with my intuition. And like I said, the basmati rice, I got that because it's a lower glycemic index and um, it won't spike my blood sugar and it digests really well. So there you go. Spelts, I got these because I really want to try to put some weight on and I'm hoping this is going to be a good grain for me. Um, and hopefully it digests well. I'm going to ask Paz about it. I did buy two packages so I'm going to eat them. I just might. If it bothers me, I might have to eat them over a longer period, but it's spelt. It's not, um, it's not uh, wheat in the same type of wheat. I got avocados. Avocados are amazing. I'm going to try to have one a day because um, they're really good fats. And I'm also taking, I want to tell you the other supplements I'm taking for, for this because this is, I know this is getting to be a long video, but this is an important thing. If you want to rebuild your adrenals, I highly recommend... Uh, the bitter foods, the uh, hot foods, um, high mineral foods, like wakame, 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 you need minerals, you need to replace, replenish your minerals. I'm also taking spirulina daily, uh, adaptogens, I'm taking uh, holy basil tea, or tulsi it's also, also called. Um, coconut oil is the best oil you can take. Um, and these are life-saving, for real. Ash ashwagandha, um, incredible adaptogen, and uh, Siberian ginseng. Don't take Korean ginseng, because Korean ginseng will fry your adrenals, and Siberian ginseng will actually increase them. Apparently with adaptogens, you have to uh, take them for three weeks, and then take a week off, and then start again. So that's what I'm going to do. And I got cucumber because it's really good for you. It's high in minerals. It's like one of the most alkaline vegetables. High in silica. Good for your hair, teeth, and nails. Um, I'm also taking something else I want to tell you I'm taking uh, is diatomaceous earth. And uh, I've heard about this. And just check it out. It's D-I-A-T-O-M-A-C-E-O-U-S earth. In case you can't read it, it's not focused. So there you go. That's what I got going on. That's my groceries for the... It's not going to be for a week. This is not going to last a week. Um, but that's what I got for now. I just want to let you know that even I make mistakes with my health. This is not something because of my diet so much. Um, however, that has contributed to it. The raw foods, the high raw foods is a great diet. However, for me, I have to be careful that I don't, I also live in Canada, and this, this has happened right in the fall changeover, so um, it's like October 2nd today, so this started happening about a month ago and started cooling down, and my body needs heat. I need heat to balance the Vata nature, and so um, the raw foods are all cooling, and I really need some warm foods, so... I'm integrating warm water uh, and spicy foods and some cooked foods. So while I was eating cooked foods before, it was like granola, cereal, rice with no spicy stuff on it. However, I have been using uh, uh, 
Franks. But I've stopped using that too because it has garlic in it. And I love you. If you have any health issues and you want my advice, I'd be happy to uh, give you advice based on what I know. I don't know everything. And if I can't give you advice, I'll try to steer you towards um, somewhere or somebody that can help you out. So I love you. Have a wonderful day. And keep kicking ass because I know you do. And so do I. That's why I make videos because I can, so I can watch them and just look at myself. Bye.